Hey Andy, here's a little tour of Pilot Point. There's Rick. We'll be back to him. Here's our bathrooms in the hallway and the upstairs to storage. Real exciting. Here's the student store. It's a closet. It's locked. It's got a bunch of candy and chips and all the other things no one should be eating. Here's the beginning of PE. Everybody's stretching out together and then they're going to be playing, I think, football today. We take my um, schedule of all the days of the year and we write out all the different activities that we'll be doing each week with a Thursday choice and of course no PE on Friday. And we do that for all quarters and the kids get to choose what games they pick and we throw in a few that they have to play so they stretch themselves a little. That's nice too because then you come in you know exactly what you're doing. This is Joe, Joe Kalmakoff, our one senior. He's part of the Happy Hands Club. He and Napoleon. Here's our living room and the glamorous Mr. Luthi yet again. Uh, here's our library. Here's our classroom characteristics. It says, we are driven, optimistic, motivated, passionate, and humorous. Lots and lots of fun. And here's, uh, oh here I'll show you Matthew's classroom. Here's Matthew's classroom. He has his kids clean up each day and put their desks on top of the, uh, or the tables, <laughs> the chairs on top of the desks. I can speak English usually. That's actually a lie. I'm pretty bad at it. There he is, Matthew Grossman, the living legend. I have to elevate the camera significantly to capture his head. All right, here we go. This is my classroom. So I got the L-shaped thing with my whiteboard over here. I have my little organized area of props and gimmickry that I use to teach with and something about Democrats and Republicans. And I have a bunch of empty space up there that I usually fill with posters over time. One of my organizational devices is I list all my students' names and then I have all their individual areas. So we'll pick on Waylon. He declares his SP or service project. He's dishwashing and working in the library a little bit. Reading, he's got an online class, skills pack, which is the stuff you got, and then an assessment. Writing, I list out everybody's for Waylon. He's working on eight and nine at the same time, so he's doing persuasive, cause effect, fictional narrative. It's nice to have it on the wall, so if they have a chance to write an essay for a different subject, they can just come to the wall and check it out. When it comes to math, he's got an online class, social studies and science. Well, social studies, he just has to follow the syllabus so I don't write anything. Science, he's done with. He's got his two credits from levels 9 and 10. And then he's doing a few things. He'll do a video in Western Art Timeline and a safety plan. So it's kind of nice to have it all in a row. Plus, they know if they eliminate everything off of the board, they know they've done everything they need to do for the year. Oh, he's back. <laughs> And this is my announcement board. It's not really a big deal. I just write down things they ought to know. Um, right now it's mostly forms they need to get back. Keeps me organized. Here's the list of things they're considering for student government and the officers and all their responsibilities, the things they're pursuing for student fundraisers and blah, blah, blah. We're going to try to get water distillers for the classroom. Here's my desk and all the insanity that goes with it. I'm in cross country, so i got like a gallon of water on my desk. And my vitamins and pictures and all that. Okay. That's pretty much it. As far as organization, the major devices you already are familiar with. Here's the finalized calendars for different students. We'll keep picking on Waylon. Here's his. He's got uh, colored blocks for the time periods in which he'll be working on each essay and some PEPs stuck in there. And if we turn the pages, you'll see those color bands continue as he goes into other essays. and Social studies I put in there for him, but he's put in things like Cultural Awareness 911 has to be done before the volleyball tourney, and he puts all that on himself. Virtual tour, and these are all related to standards, but we use little keywords to remember them so we don't have to write everything out. And I've got one for Joe, who's trying to graduate this year, and Jillian Matson, Elise Moore, they all have one. This is another thing I like to do, and I feel like I may have given you this, but here's my soft three areas. Cultural awareness, technology, and employability. Each one, you know, I think I made this thing for you, but I've got all my students X'd out as to what they've finished and not X'd for the things they have to do. Blackouts mean that the person has completely met graduation standard. And you can see some of them are crazy, like employability. X is all the way down serious levels until we get to like nine, eight actually, where people haven't quite finished things yet. That's most of my organization. We have a side classroom over here. It's kind of an escape place. Um, we tend to split up when we do distance classes because with reading, of course, it gets a little bit loud. And We've got some art supplies in the back, DDR machine, we almost never use it. 
All right, so that's about all I could offer you, but I thought I'd throw that out. Here's something to think about. I talk to my students occasionally about to learn, you either need interest, you have to like what's going on, you have to be intense, go at it hard, or you just have to do it all the time. So I encourage them to choose wisely. And that is about it. In the morning we play a game. Right now we're playing tangrams for five minutes each morning. At the beginning we stretch and work out and then I throw up one of these things and they compete and the first person to be done correctly gets the most points and they get into it. It's pretty cool. And to show you, I sent you a whole bunch of essays. Right now we're ripping those apart. This is our first one. It's about uh, no escape for malnourished children. And we've ripped it apart as to what is the hook. There was no summary and the pink is the thesis. Then we went down to the conclusion and we're doing the same thing. We picked out the thesis again and we we're looking for the part that's the closer, the memorable ending. And it's been cool for them to kind of see that they all kind of think the same things. Tomorrow we'll start going through the body of it, looking for topic sentences and transitional phrasing. So it'd be kind of cool. But everybody's got a highlighter cup on their desk, so they have all the highlighter colors, and we can work together on that. And I do a lot of poster making, and I, like I said before, I have a lot of blank space above windows. I like to fill that up with educational posters that we create. And then students, of course, they have their own highlighter cups and pen cups. I find the pens and pencils, they end up all over the floor or in the desk rolling around. But it's not so bad if you have a cup on the side of the desk. And it just takes some mailing tape to make that work. and keeps things a little cleaner. All right, I've babbled enough. There's my smart board. Here's me. You're awesome. Hopefully we get to see each other soon. All right, uh, Rick's kind of talking rumor mill stuff about maybe you can come down, maybe I can come up. So that would be cool to work that out. But God bless you, sir, and we'll see you soon.